Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. Uh, let's get right into it. Today I want to talk to you guys uh, and teach you how I uh, do reiterated mashing uh, to make big beers uh, using standard, you know, 10 gallon size uh, mashing vessels. I, di I didn't want to, when I discovered this <clears throat> technique for myself six years ago, I didn't want to have to go out and buy a bigger cooler to mash in. Uh, I was in the 10 gallon Home, uh, Home Depot Igloo, you know, water cooler. Uh, I don't use that now. I've got the, the SS Brewtech one now, but it works across all platforms. You just need a 10-gallon vessel, and, and we're going to try to make uh, the biggest beer we can, within reason, uh, without using uh, dry or, or liquid uh, malt extracts, no corn sugar, no additives, no nothing. It's just all grain uh, in, in a 10-gallon vessel uh, using reiterated mashing. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, technique uh, using Beersmith. You don't have to use Beersmith. It's what I choose to use. Um, it's it, This is a video about the technique, but I will be demonstrating the numbers through Beersmith. So um, we'll go to the last barley wine I did. It was back on November 27th. It's a 90-minute boil, 5.5 gallon batch size. Um, uh, and and, and here, here's the recipe. Uh, th and this kind of leads me to my, my next... Uh, piece you know you don't need beer smith uh, but you do need to know your system i'm not going to teach you how your system is going to work with this technique uh, but i know my system and my my typical uh, brew house efficiency when i'm using this technique uh, i set this to be 65 percent uh beer smith smith three <laughs> beer smith three at least for me um the default for them is to uh sorry is to Put it at 70%. There we go. Uh, so that's the default uh, for Beersmith 3. I know my system. I know this technique with my system is going to make my overall brew house total efficiency at 65%. Uh, here's where I will illustrate that. They estimate that I'll be at 1097 for pre boil gravity, and that day I was 1095. Uh, and then I, I probably could have boiled a little bit longer. Uh, to, to get it to the 1131, um, but I, I maintained that, uh, roughly that gap, uh, I was down by seven points, but as opposed to, uh, two points earlier, uh, so I, I probably could have boiled a little bit longer, but the, the point being is, is I know my boil off rates, I know, um, my mash ton dead space with, with, with this mash ton, it's a zero dead space because it has a center drain, uh, but with my old, um, uh, Home Depot Igloo cooler. I knew that it um, had, uh, I think it was maybe a quarter gallon uh, of dead space loss. So I, I knew my system. I know my system. Uh, and so for my system, that's 65% brew house efficiency. Because uh, you can see here, my mash efficiency was 61%. Uh, not great. <laughs> not great at all. Uh, but this technique will get you there without using any additives. So that being said, let's continue. So as you can see here, uh, we actually have 31 pounds of grain um, for this recipe, but let's add in that extra pound of rice hulls. Uh, to make all the math kind of easier, let's just stick with an even number, 32 pounds in total. Beersmith does that adding for you right here um, in that right little field. And I think you can select the fields you want. I happen to like having the total grains added for me. Um, I'm doing a, a, a single infusion. <laughs> Uh, it's actually two infusions, but um, Beersmith doesn't have a mash profile for reiterated mashing. So you're going to have to do a little bit of this uh, on your own pen and paper or have a notepad here on your computer or use the one in Beersmith that, like I do. Okay, uh, so first thing you're going to, I want to direct you to is think about this again. Okay, so we have 32 pounds of grain, including the rice hulls, but we have 32 pounds of grain. Uh, and Beersmith is already down here under grain absorption. They've already calculated for you how much volume of, you know, liquid volume loss you're going to uh, have to account for. So what's what's a good number to, to, to calculate for yourself is, well, how much am I going to lose per pound of grain? That's a pretty easy equation to do. So you just take 3.84 gallons uh, of, of grain absorption loss, divide it into the amount of... Uh, pounds in your mash and it's about 0.12 gallons per pound of grain is your loss that's important later <laughs> and we'll come back to it 
and then we're again beer smith is adding up that we need 40 quarts based on our you know grain and water you know our grist ratio uh we need 40 quarts for our initial mash they're they're calculating it based on we're doing all in one big vessel we're not so um this may be remedial for some of you uh but 40 quarts divided by four because quarts are quarters of gallons uh you're using 10 gallons of uh, strike water uh, for your mashing. But we're doing two mashes, so we're using five gallons. So just keep those numbers in mind. Every pound of grain absorbs 0.12 gallons, um, and then we're, we're splitting this, this mash uh, into two mashes uh, at five gallons of liquid each. So what I did was I utilized the notes section here on bar, uh, in, in, in uh, Beersmith. Um, you've got design, yeast starter, you got water, mash, and you've got notes. So I, I took advantage of that little section. Um, and these are my notes that I keep with me on Rude. Uh, just as a quick reference, I always print my sheets out. I don't use the laptop. Um, I print my sheets out, and this prints with uh, the brew steps I'll show you. Here's, uh, here's what it would look like if you were to print it, and here's your notes all the way here at the bottom. So, mash number one is just going to be like any other 15 and a half, 16 pound, you know, mash that you've done before. And then, you're going to gather your runnings, um, and here's what I, here's my note. We're going to go back to our math now. Okay, so, we've got 16 pounds of grain times 0.12 gallons of loss and that's going to give you 1.92 gallons of loss uh, total for the for the first mash. So you started with five gallons of, of water. Uh, you can safely guess that you're going to lose 1.92, and you're going to end up with 3.08 uh, gallons of liquid. This is important. Hang on. <laughs> so what you're going to do now is I, I refer to, to this work that you've um, gathered. Um, I now call it strike wort. So you started with strike water in the mash, uh, number one. Now what you've gathered is is wort, but it's going to be strike wort. Um, and, and so <laughs> you're going to top it off with some fresh water. So yes, you're going to dilute um, your sugars a bit here, uh, but you're not... <laughs> uh, it, it's for a purpose. So you are going to top it off with what you just lost uh, lost in the last mash um, you're going to add back 1.92 gallons of water to the wort so you come up to a total of five gallons and you're going to heat it up back in the hlt while that's happening dump your dump your grains out of your mash tun into a bucket set it aside you're going to need it later so make sure it's clean and safe and covered and all that um, and then by the time you throw your new uh, new set of grains for mash number two, uh, hopefully your strike wort will be almost uh, to uh, uh, infusion temperature. Now we go into mash number two, and it's just like any other mash. Uh, once it's done, you're going to run off uh, your runnings, uh, which will now be twice run through, uh, and you're going to run that off into whatever your boil vessel is. Uh, you're, you're going to have the same amount of loss. You're still going to end up with about 3.08 gallons of wort because it's now just been absorbed into the new 16 pounds of grain. Uh, so we're going to have to do a little bit more, more calculating, and this is where it's important to know your system. So for, for my system, uh, in particular, for a, a, a 90 minute boil or 60 minute boil, uh, for a, a, a 60 minute boil, this number is usually going to say uh, 7.5 gallons is needed. Uh, for a 90 minute boil, Beersmith, because of the evaporation rates, because I'm using my system in Beersmith, it's all calculated and calibrated. Beersmith just adds their little calculation and says, hey, you're going to need 8.13 um, gallons of liquid for your pre boil volume. So you need to figure out uh, how much liquid you need now to, uh, to sparge. So I do a batch sparge when I do this. Um, and I uh, do it with both volumes of grain. So your mash number two, the grains are already in the mash ton. Everything's already drained out. Take the grains that you set aside in that clean storage 
device that I told you about, and you're going to pour it back on top of the mash number two. So mash number one grains and mash number two grains are now combined into your vessel. It will fit. Uh, it gets a little tricky <laughs> doing all of your water in one big batch sparge. Um, that's okay. I kind of do a little bit of a hybrid uh, fly sparge method. I put as much liquid in as I can, um, and if it's full, I let it sit there for about 10 minutes, uh, and then I, I run my pump and cycle it uh, and, and, and Vorloff it, but I, I, I recirculate it. Um, and, and then and when it starts running clear, I start pushing it off into the boil kettle. And as that's happening, as my volume and my mash tone is, is lowering, I kind of add the extra little water back in uh, to, to finish off the complete sparge, the complete rinse. Uh, so if you you can do it, uh, it's not exactly a full fly, uh, fly sparge or a full batch sparge, but it's mostly a batch sparge. So uh, it's a tongue twister going through all that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to calculate a little bit. So. And the reason why is because Beer Smith says 1.96 gallons of water is needed for... Now, maybe it's in two steps, but that's still only going to get you uh, just a hair under four gallons of water. That's inaccurate. Um, so even if you did 1.96 gallons in two steps, still going to leave you uh, short. So let's go back to what we know. We know that in mass number one, we ended up with 3.08 gallons of wort, so it's you know, likely that the second mash is going to be the same because uh, the grain absorption ratio is not going to change. Uh, so we have 3.08 gallons and what we just saw was that we need 8.13. So that's real easy math. We'll just do 8.13 minus the 3.08 that we already have. We need 5.05 five gallons. 5.05 gallons of water for our uh, batch sparge. So you heat it up and do it like you would do with any other batch sparge and uh, you go from there. Uh, and, and then you, you run it off into your boil kettle and you're done. Uh, basically, you're home free. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. I mean, you're, you're, you, you, you mash in, you run the wort off, you heat up the wort after topping it off with a little bit of water, you mash in again on new grains, you combine all the grains and rinse them all with sparge water, throw them in the boil kettle, uh, and, and boil away and you're done. So that has been my uh, successful technique. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I get comments and they, they, they beat my phone because I've got the YouTube app, uh, studio app, and, and I, I, I get it just like a text message. So uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer it. Cheers, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.